when you look at how bipolar the market or to, is today or, yeah, or because I'm talking about all the major indexes and nobody's been <laughs> safe today. Everything is turning significantly into the red zone. So this actually can give us an indication of what can actually happen next, especially when you look at some signals that are quietly shaping to be the perfect storm for AMC to actually go bananas in the next in the very short term and by that I mean not only the price still being a little bit going alongside with how market react okay okay meaning there is nothing to be said anymore about AMC being a negative alpha all right a negative alpha stock meaning when the markets or red this will be up and when the markets are up this will be red because in the last six to eight weeks it's been pretty much following what the market has been doing, especially the Russell 2000. Now, the other signals I'm kind of, you know, talking about, and you will see with me that first off, yesterday we had from um, Ortex the public data around shares utilization around 100%. This is the second day in a row we have a 100% utilization on short shares and AMC. What does that mean? Well, it means pretty much every shares available to be lent for the borrowers to show them has been lent out. Does that mean that they're going to necessarily use them? No, but it means that, well, whenever you lend those shares, all right, you can expect them to be recalled at any time possible. And once that happens, you have to return those shares. And by returning those shares, it decreases the short selling pressure. So it has a lot to do when it comes to pushing the share price a little bit higher because it, it, it decreases the short pressure on the share price action. Now, alongside with this, remember, before I, before I move into the next signal, remember that this is just a public data published by Ortex, which doesn't take into account a bunch of other events that are not even taking place or being captured by this tool. Why? Because they are going on dark pools and nobody has access to dark pools except those playing in those dark pools. And then we also had this new data coming from Ortex again. Short squeeze type two, short squeeze type three. AMC has been triggering two types of short squeeze alert, uh, alerts today, all right? two types of short squeeze alerts. The last time this happened, MC was still trading around maybe the 50s or the 60s dollars a share after it was pulling back from the high of the 70s. So is that a signal that tomorrow we're gonna go to the moon? No, not necessarily. Will this happen? Yes, absolutely, this can happen. But what this means is we are having something, you know, kind of brewing together, some things brewing together and shipping what I would call the perfect storm for the near short term to be actually going nuts when it comes to the share price. When you add to this, you know, when you add to this, all of these major 13G filing, the 13G filing are already actually different from the 13F. The 13F is what you see here, all these guys buying new shares. As a matter of fact, JP Morgan just added 312,000 puts to its position, all right? and then also have some calls. So they are playing both games and they still have some shares here. But when you look at the 13G filing, it's actually those who have a significant position into the stock. And when you look at Vanguard and BlackRock, the last time this was so high, remember this is a 514% change for Vanguard and 600% change for BlackRock. The last time we had this amount of shares on the 47 plus, the 40 plus million from these two, especially, again, the share price was very, very, very trading in these zones, you know, the these high 60s, 50s zones. So um, it's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence at all that we, we, we are having the short squeeze signal, you know, coming because the buying pressure is actually getting in. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> when you look at the actions we're having, this is, I mean, if you take into consideration the 20 the highs of the 2093 we have today, this has been up 40%, 40% in the last three days. What do you think is going to happen next? Well, lots of people are going to jump into this play. Lots of people are going to continue to chase this because if it runs 
it starts running like this, man, it means there is chance of making a lot of money, whether you're a screen trader or a day trader or even an institution trying to make a, a, a quick buck, all right, on the stock. So this adds again to the fuel around the buying pressure. And that's why I call all of this, you know, with the institution still loading a lot, all right, plus retail not going anywhere. And you have these signals, even though they're not using the real data, but at least if the data actually, you know, the, the, the true data is higher than this. I mean, can you imagine what's going to happen if with the little information we have so far captured by Ortex, we are already signaling these short squeezes, then yeah, the perfect storm is streaming. I mean, it's, it's brewing. The only question is, will you be still, you know, ready for it to happen? And it doesn't matter at which level it brings this share price. Are you still going to be in? Because it's really, it's very, um, dangerous to actually try to get out especially when you have been down so much so just be careful right